Welcome back guys. Today on Don't Feed Sean, a new puffy taco place for you to check out. What might be some of the best shawarma in Orlando. Checking out the slutty vegan pop-up in Tampa and then stopping by a Tampa establishment for good measure. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notifications. My first stop out tonight was Ivanhoe Park Brew, where I stepped out to enjoy a nice beer and a new taco truck. Here at Ixayana Tacos. We're checking out some of the brand new taco trucks here in Orlando, and I got these bad boys. I'm getting into this queso birria first. These birria tacos are gonna be a little bit different than everywhere else because they're doing a puffy taco. These puffy tacos are killer. Those nice crispy shells. Mmm. Oh my god, wow. Add a little mango habanero sauce and just a touch of guac and just about everything is complete. That first taco I dipped in, the birria, was actually a cochinita pibir. I didn't realize that when I was dipping it, but that's a traditional style Mayan taco. And combined with the unique puffy shell taco, it really uh, brought out, I don't know, Just it was just different. It was different enough and it was something really enjoyable. The birria which, and the uh, veggie taco, which all get thrown in with a uh, deep fried piece of cheese, they're some really uh, great flavor combinations, so I definitely would check this place out. Next stop is the International Food Mart over on Goldenrod. This is just minutes from downtown, and it is primarily a grocer, but I have a very good Egyptian friend of mine who told me that the shawarma here was among the best in town, and I have to say, I showed up and I was really impressed. Everything's getting made fresh here. They do have a few items that you can purchase to go uh, very simply like uh, biryani and things like that as well. But their shawarma is really the key thing here. Guys, taking my first bite of the chicken shawarma. It's a Mexican chicken shawarma, so it's got jalapeno and some other goodies on here. Mm. Really good. And that's pretty much that on that. The shawarma there is phenomenal and definitely worth going to check out. Speaking of places worth going to check out, we had to take that trip to Tampa when the Slutty Vegan came through. That place was a whole different vibe. Slutty Vegan from ATL. They're from Atlanta. It's a food truck. They came down here for the day. We're over in Tampa. The line stretches around the block. Just greasy vegan food. It's all looking so good. Can't wait to try it. We got two burgers. We picked up the one night stand and the sloppy toppy. The names at this place are awesome. All the burgers come with fries. Everything out here has been looking. Look at that. That is yeah. just looking wow. We're out here in Ebor, if you can't tell. If you're not from Florida, it's those Ebor roosters. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. This is so good. It's just like a bacon cheeseburger, but it's all vegan. The blend, the seasoning. I don't know what that burger's made out of, but it's good. Melted vegan cheese. They've got the vegan bacon on there, tomatoes, lettuce. All the bacon, all the burger fixings, but it is just, wow. I can't believe that's vegan. And to wrap it up, how do you say no to a taco shop with a fake bus out front? Well, 
works for me. But the taco bus tacos were pretty good, and the hot sauces were decent. And, well, I mean, they're tacos. It was Taco Tuesday. Tacos are cheap and good. You can't beat that. So, keep eating, guys. And for all of you who have been watching, thank you. And I will catch you in the next video.